Yeah, it's a really strong feel. I think because it's World Championships, everyone wants to run here and be in the atmosphere of this track. And yeah, it's great. I think a lot of people are here. What athletics club are you running for at the moment? Um, so this this kit is Thames Valley. I also right. run for York as well. So I run for two separate clubs. Right. Okay. I'm, I'm filming actually on behalf of uh, Colby Athletic Club. Okay. They're a, a club of young people. Obviously, we're trying to motivate them. Yeah. Get some good advice for them. What would you say is good advice for getting them to where you are? Do what you enjoy. So try all the events. Do everything. <laughs> Find out what makes you happy and do that. Don't don't suck, like, go into one specific event because you think you might be good at it. I think you should try everything. I need to get a test of the arena, the feel of the track, and that's what I've done. And I'm just only going to push hard and progress for the final, the semi-final. Right, right. So you got a good chance of winning today. That's amazing. Um, I may do, but you never know what could happen. Obviously, touch wood, you know, everything goes well. But you, you just the um, British winning for females has come a long way, so yeah. it's a good challenge. I'm going to say, so I'm um, ready for it. Right. Just want to ask me one question. Obviously, I'm filming here for Colby Athletic Club. Okay. It's a team of young people that we're trying to really motivate to do well. Yeah. I just wonder what sort of advice you would give to them. I um, enjoy it the most. Um, sport for me is all about having fun and being with your peers and getting along with your coach. And I expect all, well, I bring my niece to the track and I let her know about how fun it is and exciting it is to do sports. So as long as you've got a smile on your face and you love what you do, um, you can go far with it. Right. Have a great day, Asha. Thank you. you win. to your level how do we bring our youngsters up um it's all about patience really because like from when i first started i wasn't always on top uh, I progress each year, which is good. Oh, good shape or not, I always progress. It's a case of being patient, just being consistent, and just believing in your coach because really, they know what's best. And even if you don't see it, they see the bigger picture. Really. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 it felt alright, felt good. Um, yeah, just, just each round, got to take it as it comes. Yeah. Would have been nice to have gone a bit quicker, but like I say, it's just about going through each round. I won the race, on to the next one. Okay, we're trying to develop uh, runners at our athletic club, Corby Athletics. Mm -hmm. Young guys coming up in the rooms like you. What sort, of a, what sort of advice can you give them to get them to where you are? Just to enjoy it, you know? Um, there's nothing worse than loving a sport and then hating it. <laughs> for you know different reasons but you know remember you do sport sports fun it's a privilege just to be able to do what we do just enjoy it especially as your life it's about rounds of championships so so um, for me it's about going through what he's been going through in training trying to execute round by round and see what happens so, how's your coach doing these days who are you using so i'm with uh, simon dubley down at winter south in hanslow um, I took a bit of a break from him, learned from a few other coaches like Mike McFarlane, Stan Madiri and Jonas, uh, Jonas Odin. Um, and yeah, now I've gone back to Simon and we kind of got that relationship. That Making a difference to your performance? Uh, little by little, yeah. It's taken a couple of years, but this thing's about, it's a slow process, so it's yeah. just about just going through the phases one day at a time. What's the um, Just keep plugging away. Uh, and if you really, really want it, like, and you really enjoy it, just, just keep going. Just keep going afterwards. Um, sport is all about just keep going through all the negatives. So just enjoy it as much as you can. CJ Uja! So how's that for you? Good start. It's good, today. yeah, good start. Um, that's the fastest I've ever done in a heat here, so a little bit off my PB, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that, yeah. 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 You're going to progress through the day, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's it, coming second in a heat, I've never done that here before, so. So you're um, coming from Liverpool Harriers? Yeah. I mean, have you always been with Liverpool Harriers as a, an athletics club? I used to run for the Wirral, um, which is just over the water from Liverpool, yeah. um, so I made the move. 2013, bigger club, yeah. better competitions, and yeah. You? yeah. I mean, what sort of advice can you give them? I would say keep training, just stay consistent, um, enjoy it, and don't take yourself too seriously. 
been going well, yeah. It's a first for me. This is the first senior championship I've done um, so at this level. So it's really exciting. So you're up against some real tough people then? Yeah. So what's your aspirations for the day? Um, well, I'm just hoping to get to a PB. Uh, so I've just got through to the semis from the results. Um, so I'm just aiming for a PB. Um, and then that would be good. Edinburgh as a club? Um, since I was 12, so six years. Right. And what sort of advice would you give them? Um, I would just say, just um, stick at it. Um, like when I first started, I wasn't the best, but with good training and a good mindset, um, you can get up there. So. Well, good luck. That was a really good run for you. Thank you. So you're you're up for you're in contention, are you? Yeah. Yeah, you know. I just do I often just take it race by race, so yeah, it's good. Great stuff. Tell me about your running club. I mean how are they helping you develop? <laughs> Liverpool Hardy has had my back since day one. And I'm so thankful for their support, you know. I'm really, really super grateful. So it's good that, you know, I can hopefully help inspire the next generation of young junior athletes, you know, from Liverpool to come through. So what advice could you give to them? Just have fun, you know. It's not always easy, but trust me, when you get those highs, hold on to it for as long as possible, because you, you may never get it again, or just keep working hard, push through everything, and enjoy it. Yeah, it was okay. I tried to go up quite hard and then just trying to kind of relax that second lap is what I did. I didn't really know what was going on behind me, so I probably could have taken the foot off the gas a little bit more, but happy with that. Yeah, so progressing through the day, you think that's uh, one yeah, in the bag? definitely. Hopefully. I'm trying to, I, I, I love to call my whole world indoors, so hopefully I can keep this going for that. Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest advice I can give anybody is two things. Is be patient because it didn't happen overnight, you know, it's really worked hard, but also just enjoy it, you know, make sure you're really enjoying it. I mean, I love coming out competing, I've loved competing since I was nine, year old, nine years old and first joined this club, so yeah, just enjoy it, be patient.